my level of panic right now. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Courtney Fierce here and welcome back to another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, I am spending 24 hours in this closet. Now it does go back there. I will give you guys like a little like, you know, MTV Cribs sort of like, here's my like bedroom situation right now. I do have the door open right here because if you guys saw my last video, I will leave that down below and in the cards right here. I spent 24 hours in the bathroom and literally felt like I was dying. Um, there was like barely any oxygen at one point. Like I was feeling very like sickly. Yeah, it was just like a mess. Um, I ended up, I believe making it through it. I'm, I actually don't remember the end of the video, but I'm pretty sure I did last 24 hours. So if you want to see me last 24 hours, then subscribe down below to be a part of the fierce family i make new videos every single fierce friday as well as turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time when this fierce bitch uploads also don't mind my like weird ass tan i did some self tanner bondi sands in dark and it went a little bit weird on me so i'm gonna get a mitt because i didn't use a mitt and um yeah so i've been like scrubbing it off and my face was like literally orange but um yeah as you can see my elbow is still like self tan they look like nipples but um yeah my stomach and stuff isn't so let's get right into it um i'm gonna start my makeup first because i just feel like really ugly now i took off the tanner and i think that it's like time to do that and also what else can you do in a closet like there's only so many things you can do right so i started this challenge at seven it is now almost eight o'clock yeah, it's 7.49 p.m. That's my little background right there. Look, it actually is like kind of cool. Wait just a second. This is my little background. And if you keep like holding it down, it actually plays her full entire transformation sequence from season two. So that's a pretty cool little like screen tone, screen saver, I guess is what this is called. But yeah, and then my back one is just Sailor Moon playing her little like a Game Boy color, you know, very much me. You guys want to see what we're dealing with for like a area because like it's crazy. This is where I'm going to be living for the next little bit. Like, at least I did my makeup. It looks pretty cute, eh? This highlight is everything. I'm gonna bring you guys closer because you guys are on a tripod. A really heavy tripod. But, like, look. This is where I'm living. This is literally where I'm living for the next 24 hours. Look how tiny it is. So I'm sitting right here, there's the wall, and then it literally just goes back in there. I'm like nervous that I'm not gonna make it, but you know, I have my phone here. I have my little pink switch here so I can play like Animal Crossing. I'll probably like go back here and get all comfy and cozy. You know, I got a little burrito blanket. I got my boyfriend's blanket. I got a little red blanket that I'm sitting on too. And then my sleeping bag is in here. Like, it's gonna be a lot, but I think we're gonna, like, eat some dinner, some pizza, and then we're gonna film another video. I'll let you guys come on this journey with me of literally going crazy. Just finished eating pizza, and then I also ate one of these, because my boyfriend brought me these. How nice is he? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my little, like, hole back here, as you guys can see. I'm like tuck myself in with some blankets and then i'm just gonna play some animal crossing just to make the time go by quicker um him and i just watched fairy tale and it's like it's 9 36 my friend just texted too what the heck am i doing to myself is what i'm currently asking myself my boyfriend's showering i just played animal crossing for the last hour and then i talked to an old friend um which has made me really 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 sad because he made me feel very awful about who I was as a person 
So I cut him out of my life and then now I kind of feel bad for cutting him out. So I had a conversation with them and you know, it didn't obviously go that well when you take somebody out of your life. So it like honestly was just like a lot. Now I'm in like a mood of like sadness and depression, you know, it's definitely interesting. This closet's definitely made me think about a lot of things in my life. I'm also like tired AF as you can tell by my eyes, but like, we're still going. My lips look dry AF, but yeah. Can't do skincare in here, so we gotta just take off our makeup with the wipes. Maybe I'll do that soon because I just cannot deal with it. If this camera doesn't stop defocusing, I'm gonna lose it. So like who just came to come visit me? He's <laughs> very shy apparently. Yes. It's Shinese instead of Charmise. I just went for my first pee break. Like, the closet's a little bit open, but I just went for my first pee break. Um, I got him the timey. I gave, like, myself, like, two minutes because I felt like that was reasonable to, like, you know, pee and, like, wash my hands because, you know, we're in a pandemic, so you can't just, like, pee and, like, run away. Like, you gotta, like, you know, get rid of that Rona and also be, like, clean around a boyfriend that you've only seen for a year as I'm itching my crotch on camera, you know? <laughs> it took me a minute and a half, so I think that's really good. So here's my little baby, Marina. She's my little everything. When he brings you breakfast in bed for, like, the nine millionth time. I love him. So now we've resulted in playing cards. Crazy eights before bed. And then I'm gonna sleep in here, and then he's gonna s try and sleep right here. Like, I'm confused. When the hotel leaves you a little chocolate mint on your bed, but it's a full cake bag. But yeah, he's gonna try and sleep on that, and then I'm gonna try and sleep in here. <sighs> Wish me luck, because I'm about to go to bed, because I am so freaking tired and sleepy. Good night, cuties. Good morning, everyone. So, it's been a morning, um, I'm currently at school, I'm doing the little team sort of thing, you know, the Zoom kind of meeting for school. I'm actually doing some English class this morning, um, well, I guess it's afternoon now, but I honestly went to bed so late last night that, like, I woke up at like 1 and my class is from 1 to 4, so oops, just doing some journaling we have to do a book so i'm doing the fault in our stars by john green and i'm writing like a little journal on it so i'm gonna go do some school and then hopefully i'm gonna eat some dinner and stuff i'm almost done between six and seven is when i started so i'm very excited to get over this because i'm literally going crazy right now like Change my sweater. I finally got dressed in the closet and now I'm going to do my makeup. I think I'm just gonna do like a nice soft glam because like what else is there really to do when you're in quarantine especially like during class. I'm learning a lot of things so I just decided just to do like a quick makeup just because I have a few things to do once I've done this challenge. literally just finishing my English class and I'm gonna write in my journal. I'm actually reading The Fall in Our Stars while I'm going to go pick up the book today but then that's basically what I'm gonna do tonight because I have a journal entry due for Thursday. I have one due every single week up until the end because this is considered our final exam. I've officially made it to the time that I came in here at I've officially made it through 24 hours of this challenge. It feels a little bit crazy to make it because last time I was like literally struggling. I guess this time I struggled a little bit, but like not as much, I guess. I guess I'm just like more strong-willed now. Just kidding. But anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that I made it to the end of the challenge. I finished my school. I finished almost writing my journal. I just have to type it up and then email it. So my homework's done for the week, which is amazing. 
even though it's due by like Thursday night, so I'll probably read some more of my book. But yeah, let me know down below if any of you have read The Fall in Our Stars by John Green. I'd love to know what your thoughts on the book is. I did read it back in high school, but I honestly don't remember much of it. So it's going to be like reading it all over again. I remember some things, but the big things, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I love you guys all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you've gone crazy as much as me, because what else is there to do in quarantine besides stuff yourself in a closet and stay there for 24 hours? I love you guys all so much. Make sure you subscribe down below to join the Fierce family. I make new videos every single Fierce Friday and turn on those post notifications so that you're notified every single time when I upload. Bye, you guys.